and the Harbor Freight DA polisher. I've already got it taken apart. I've kind of pieced it back together a little bit just so I can show the disassembly process. Get your little wrench it comes with. Take off the backing plate. You're gonna need a flathead screwdriver to take off the plastic little nut on the back for the platypus head and that pops off easy peasy. Get you a Phillips. Take off the counterweight. Put it aside. Then you're gonna need the little locking pin. That goes in the back of the polisher. It holds this thing still. Then you take your uh, channel locks. I got them under the polisher right now. Twist left, pops right out. Easy peasy. This is where you're gonna encounter some problems because they got some cheap Chinese screws for this next piece. Be very careful with your uh, Phillips as you take them off. But once you get them off, you are pretty much there. There's uh, four more screws. Pop this last piece off. I've already cleaned the grease out. So now we have a nice, clean, whatever that piece is called, the gears there. We got a nice clean inside here and we got some high temp grease. This is uh, what I found at Walmart. As long as you got some good red grease going on. You're in business. We're just gonna fill the cavity here. Some of that good grease. Making this uh, video, because the last, uh, looked up how to do this on YouTube, and the video was like 30 minutes long. Or at least the one I found, so. We're trying to get straight to the point Put the grease in, good to go. Go ahead and rub you some grease on this thing. This is not working great. Get on there. All right, you put however much you want to put in there. I think this looks pretty good for me. Yeah. As long as you get that cheap Crisco Chinese grease up out of there, put you some good red grease up in there. And we're gonna pop that back on. All right, let's see if we can reassemble this bad boy now see if I lost some screws probably did all right here we go let's put this thing back in there hey man I'm trying to film some YouTube up in here all right camera getting this This would be a good time to replace your screws if you think you're gonna be in the, in the, be uh, changing the grease again or whatever. I'm not gonna do that. But you do whatever you wanna do. Wipe this excess grease that's coming out. That's how you know you put your good amount in there. All right, what was next? This part that once again you want to be real careful with.
So these are three screws that will probably strip on you the fastest. I already tried this once and stripped one of these, so I went and got another one. business now. Let's twist this thing back on by hand. All right, counterweight. Boom, and backing plate. Oh yeah, platypus, Good little hand thing here. Screw that back on with your little plastic bolt. It does come with an extra one, so if you mess this one up, you'll have an extra one. Just get your flathead in there. Oops. Racing the clock, racing the clock. Boom. There you have it. Let's uh, plug it up and see what it sounds like. See if this thing blows up or something. Yep, there you go. Auto Freight DA Polisher, Priest Change. Jamie the Cleaner, follow me on Instagram, at Jamie the Cleaner. Like this video if it helped you out. I'll catch you guys on the next one.